All right, so I'm up to 203.92 miles. Ran a little late today, so the sun's out. Pretty drained, still haven't eaten breakfast yet. I'm going to do that real soon, but let's take a look at these shoes. What do you think? Pretty good? I think they're holding up pretty nicely. The shoe goo seems to stay on for at least a couple weeks on this, this knot here that they heat up with the lighter, then you press it down flat with a wrench. You barely feel that, but yeah. You'll need to keep reapplying shoe glue on that. I do not think the laces will last 5,000 miles without that shoe glue. The ones on the sides, you, you're never really going to get much abrasion there unless you're kind of, your foot's a little tilted in or out while you're running. And then you need to correct that. But yeah, here's the other one. Doing good. Alright, I need to get some breakfast. But yeah, rain. Run Keeper actually worked this time, so you can go check that out. Links down below. Um, almost, I think it was almost four miles. Not bad, right? They're good. I don't know. I kept around ten minute ish pace. I'm still pretty heavy, dude. My calves are pretty uh, tense this morning. Nice and tight, but uh, I'm gonna go eat. Enough of this crap. Hey, how you doing? I think I'm up to 209.47 miles. A pretty good run. My stomach was hurting a little bit from uh, the cheat day I had yesterday. Kind of felt like a stitch, but you know, it was it was because of what I ate. But once I got enough water in there and got the blood flowing, I felt all right. Um, shoes are holding up nicely. It was about a 5.55 mile run. Felt pretty good even at the end of it. It does kind of feel like it's getting nice and thin on that slick spot there, but... I mean, I think I've got quite a few more miles in these. I'm going to probably apply a little more shoe goo because I do not want to have to retie these laces. They are perfect right now. And, yeah, I don't think I could get it any more perfect than this. So I'm going to make sure that these don't wear through. I got my first dose of nipple chafage that I've gotten in a long time courtesy of my old school DPT shirt. And if you don't know what DPT is... Well, that's that's pretty much the norm. It's my fitness method. Uh, but yeah, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat. Nice 60-minute steady run before breakfast. Before the heat really came down. See ya. Hey, I know you. You, you know? Who? Oh, you know who I am. Okay, I just got done with another run. I'm up to 211.04 miles. It was a little slower than my. Uh, quarter mile intervals usually are because Runkeeper I got a call around the time I think Runkeeper was trying to let me know I was st supposed to start running again so it was a little wonky on that but it looks good all good and gravy uh, they're holding up well uh, I've gotten over a lot of the soreness in my cast my feet are getting stronger and stuff and things and I should probably take a shower and eat dinner. What are you doing tonight? What? Ah, never mind. See you later. Hey, I'm up to 212.85 miles. Felt a little better to, on today's run. I, mean, uh, I think it was like 1.8 miles, one minute intervals. But let's take a look. Let's see. Did they hold up? They did. They did. <laughs> yeah, I think these these puppies are gonna last a long time. Uh, the only spot that's really getting <clears throat> some wear and tear is right there. It's been a little smooth, and it's been like that for a long time. And it's probably because I have pretty good form with that foot. You're supposed to be hitting up up in that area, but and plus I'm pretty heavy, and I, I run on paved trails a lot. But that concludes this combination of video clips. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna eat.